Welcome back to part 4 tutorial about Ottawa and how to do it. And in this one we're going to show how to use an INI I and I read using GUI, I mean I and I write using a GUI this time instead of just a normal input box. So first off I'm going to just create an input box. Just put that in there. And we're just going to make a nice little button there. And we'll name this button save. So now we got that. Tools generate form code. Insert it in. I just take this one out and replace it with the other one that we usually use. So here we have it. So if button one's clicked, so we're going to make the function for that. Fun. Button one, closing brackets, just that exact same thing. Then there's, then we're gonna have to do a GUI control read. This is the read input box. Control ID. We're gonna put it in. It's gonna be. Well, we're gonna put in um, the input. So because we're reading an input box, so input one. I just scroll down to that close that off. <coughs> then we're going to do I and I re write, sorry, bracket, make it whatever you want. I already have one called config, so I'm just going to make it I and I, and then you have to do dot I and I. You don't have to have the file already created, it doesn't matter. Section of make it config, key will just be input one. And the value is going to, oh, sorry, for GUI control read, you have to put a variable in front. So I'm just going to put read in front equals. So then for this, you'll just put in read. Simple as that. And then you got to do end. Now it should be all good. Hit go. Wait for it to open. So here we have it. I'm just gonna put in blar and I'm gonna click save. Now I'm gonna go see if it's saved. I and I there it is. Blar. Input one config. Thanks for watching. The next tutorial I'll show you how to read these files.